So this is a very quick video for right click select and a few suggestions regarding the timeline header. Alright guys, how's it going? I hope you're doing very well. Now do not panic, this is B4 Artist. I kind of use it for messing about, building tools, stuff like this. I actually quite like using the program. But don't worry, most of this kind of translates over to Blender 3D so nothing to worry about there. Now there's a few things regarding the timeline that I kind of grind my gears to be honest and there's a few things that could be done to improve it or personally I think could be done to improve it. And I'll give you an example. So let's go back to the last keyframe which is 58 and when I hit play and go back you'll notice that it keeps playing the timeline. Now that's perfectly fine if you're reviewing animation and you want to make sure it's perfect but sometimes you want to just go back to the frame that you started on. Now this is already exposed in the API and I actually think there's a shortcut for this. I can't remember it but I think there is a shortcut. So I'm on frame 80 and when I hit play and hit stop, I stop in the current frame. So let's go back to frame 80, let's hit play and with this little button it automatically goes back to the last current frame. So let's go to 110 for example, hit play, hit back, it goes back to 110. Now, this is two use cases, we're having one going backwards and having one stopping on the frame that you initially kicked off helps in terms of animation. Another thing that I think could be implemented or could help certain users is the keyframe incremental. So let's go to keyframe zero and I'll put in a value of five here and if I hit the plus sign, I'll go up five keyframes every time. Uh, same obviously when I go in a negative value, I'll go back five keyframes. Now this comes in handy, it saves you going to this and going 5, 5, 5, we're trying to do it here. So having something like basically an incremental plus and negative, dead easy, it takes up no UI space. In fact, if I actually go into Blender, you can see here it's implemented here as well and it works perfectly fine. I'm not a big fan of going in this header to be honest, but nah, it's just because it's Python. And these are a few things that I think might help Blender. Now, if you want to implement this button in Blender, let's quickly jump into B4 Artist, uh, the back button, you need to edit the space underscore time.py, so you can right click on it, edit the source. Let's go into Visual Scripting, and I think it's row 54, well 55, and you just copy that in and that'll implement it. Now, what I've done is I've actually made an add-on for B4 Artist and Blender, and I'll put them on Gumroad if you want to download them, and that adds an incremental frame number. Anyway, do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow me on Twitter, you know what to do, take care.